standing tall, but now cordoned off with barbed wire. The EFF won't back down. Freedom fighters say he represents a dark chapter in the history of oppression and racial segregation. They must come here and remove the statue. If they, are, they have a problem with the main power, we are going to offer that. And I will be the first to offer that support. Attempts to vandalize the statue were foiled by police. When they threw rocks and sticks at Oum Paul, police opened fire. The protest ended in chaos with several freedom fighters arrested. EFF members have vowed to continue with their protests until all colonial and apartheid statues are removed. They have given the city seven days to respond. In the interim, further action against the statues can be expected. And it wasn't an empty promise. Martinez Vessel of Pretorius was also splashed with paint. He was the first state president of the South African Republic from 1866 to 71. Witnesses fingered EFF members, but party leaders denied involvement. Manuel Bamtunu, SAPC News, Pretoria.